Well, my name is Stephen LeDrew. I'm running for mayor of the city of Toronto. I uh, was past president of the Liberal Party of Canada for six years. I've been a municipal lawyer for 25 years. And uh, I'm very involved in the uh, community. And I'm running because we need some results in the uh, city of Toronto. We haven't had good results in the last few years. We have higher taxes. We've had less service. We need to have clean and safe streets. We need to have better transportation both with the uh, public transit and less gridlock and we need to give a boost to our economy in the city. We have uh, high business taxes in the city, businesses are leaving Toronto and we need to give a, such a boost to our business so we have economic prosperity, so we have jobs for our children, so we have activities for our children and so that everyone in Toronto can prosper. Very much a, uh, a proponent of our terrific richness of culture in the city of Toronto which is why I'm uh, speaking to you today. Mm -hmm. So what makes you, what, what makes you like, have a decision to run for the mayor? Oh sure, well because I'm running for mayor because I was dissatisfied with the way our city is going. Um, all of us who uh, live in Toronto, when we go out into the streets, the streets aren't cleaner, uh, the, they aren't easier to drive down. We need to have better service for our communities. We need to have greater involvement of our community leaders in, uh, within various communities and neighborhoods in Toronto so that our children, for instance, are working with the community as opposed to against the community. So we have greater involvement, so we have a greater, as I call it, a greater buy-in of the community. So it's a, it's, a, it's a more interesting and a richer place to live. So is it the first time you run for public office? Well, I, when I was president of the Liberal Party of Canada, I had to run from coast to coast to coast. It was I was president of the party in all of Canada. So I visited communities across the country, and I was elected at a party uh, convention in Ottawa in 1998, and then I was re-elected again in 2000. Uh, I've held many uh, positions where I've been elected in various institutions. Uh, I have not run for a uh, councillor or the mayor before in the city of Toronto. I was moved to do it this time because Toronto deserves better. We need to get rid of the NDP mayor, who is uh, a lot of talk, quite frankly, without a lot of results. So you say you have, uh, uh, are you still the president of the Liberal Party? No, I, uh, you're only allowed to be president for two terms. I was the longest serving president. I was there for almost six years. So uh, does this like Liberal political background will help you for your municipal election or it will be a disadvantage? Well, no, I think it will be a great help because as a president of the Liberal Party of Canada, I was very involved in the multicultural community. I was very involved in uh, operations of government in the sense that I've written about public policy, I understand public policy. I've been a municipal lawyer for 25 years and so I've been very involved in uh, city politics in, uh, and city administration in the city of Toronto. I know what we need. We need more effective government, more accountable government. We need to get rid of the secret deals. And I think my experience is, uh, is well suited to be uh, mayor. And in the next uh, 11 days until the election, we're going to have a lot of uh, discussion of good public policy and the reasons why uh, people are going to vote for me for mayor. Do you know Dalton McQuinty, our premier? Yes, I do uh, know Mr. McGinty. Um, do you two have good relationship? Or I have good relationships with all governments, whether it be uh, liberal or conservative. I know our prime minister, and I know a lot of the ministers in the uh, both the provincial government and the federal government. And I think that is key to uh, being a successful mayor. You have to be able to work and have good relations with, uh, with the other two levels of government. It's also about time that Toronto grew up. We, we are a big city, we're a lovely, rich, cosmopolitan city, and we don't have to be going cap in hand any longer. We need to uh, get action in the city, we need to involve the other levels of government, and we have a lot of uh, political ridings in the Toronto where they want to win, both in the provincial election and the federal election. And uh, we're going to point out what they have to do to, uh, to be successful in Toronto, which is to help Torontonians. I know the city of Toronto is trying to get a right to host the World Expo. So, and then in order to get the World Expo right, the city has to get the guarantee, guarantee from the upper from level, the, level. And actually, I, I don't know how you're going to uh, tape this, but it's 10 to 1. We've yeah. been in a meeting here mm -hmm. for the, uh, for the, uh, uh, the dinner on, on December the 2nd. Mm -hmm. And so by now we know whether uh, that bid was, uh, was able to go in or not because the deadline today was 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I was very much a proponent and a supporter of the Expo bid, but it wasn't, we didn't bring along the people of Toronto and uh, we didn't involve the people of Toronto. And as mayor, part of the responsibility of the office is to uh, communicate with people and to get the good results. But the point is that uh, I think the mayor says that if he doesn't get the guarantee from the provincial government, and the deal is... No, no, that's why I'm saying by 12 o'clock today, we know now, when we're out of this meeting, whether we were able to get those guarantees. It was a guarantee of a $700 million overspending deficit. And uh, the international rules were such that we needed to have that uh, guarantee or else our bid would not even uh, get to pass first plate. Then what's your forecast? Do we get it or no? Well, the mayor was, and I were on, on a debate last night and uh, he wasn't very optimistic. I, I wish for the people of Toronto we had it. If I had been mayor, we would have had it because I've been working on the prime minister and the premier for the last year to deliver for the citizens of Toronto. Do you think you'll be a better mayor than David if you are elected? There's only one reason I'm uh, running in this election, is because I can be a better mayor and I will be a better mayor than, uh, than the incumbent, Mr. Miller. I have uh, otherwise a very comfortable life. I have a wonderful family and I have uh, a successful practice and uh, two TV shows a week. And um, I was moved to run because I don't think we're being well served by this NDP mayor. And um, I can do a lot better, and I will do a lot better for the voters. Okay, we'll give you one, one minute commercial so you can appeal to our audience. Well, I think the, uh, what, what appeals to people in municipal uh, politics is clean streets, safe streets, the way to travel those streets. We, you know, the municipal government impacts you, affects you more than any other level of government. From the moment you get up in the morning till the time you go to bed at night, for for your own day-to-day -day living, for the, the lives of our children, we need to improve the quality of life in the city of Toronto. And that's not just things like clean and safe streets and uh, and good transit, but also is things like the cultural community. We need to bring in our cultural and uh, and other community leaders to develop, to have the program so we have a rich life. As mayor, I will be very visible. I will be very proactive for Toronto. I will be in every community and every every neck of our large and terrific city, and I will represent you well. Thank you.